This is your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingphase.com out here with another question, and I'm answering them. <laughs> so, this is something that I see all the time on Quora. This is something I see here on the comments. Like, what separates a junior programmer versus a senior programmer? What's the difference? The difference is when you're a junior programmer, there's not that many responsibilities on top of you right you're responsible for the work that's assigned to you and pretty much you're not gonna get something extremely complicated sometimes if they see that hey you're very talented and you can handle it they will give you a complicated task when you are at a job or a company etc right but most of the time they're not gonna give you those type of tasks for you to handle because number one you don't have the experience you don't have the years that a senior developer has already all right and one thing that says here that is pretty good it says Niels Boris once said an expert is a man who has made all the mistakes which can be made in a narrow field what does that mean it means pretty much a senior developer has already gone through the paths that a junior developer is going through like all the little mistakes that you guys make all the things that you come in and you're like oh man let me write this down like this but in reality there's an easier and more efficient way a senior developer has already gone through that you know somebody going in and hacking the website a senior developer has already gone through that somebody coming in and you know by mistake deleting the whole database a senior developer has already gone through that and knows how to recover that data like there's so many little examples out there that a junior developer just doesn't know you know I I've seen this in you know in my my own life where I will see like uh, you know junior developers come in straight out of college guys who are coming in straight out of college or straight off from a boot camp or uh, teaching themselves at home and then you know they feel like they're ready for prime time and they're like oh yeah you know I know this this amazing framework that just came out and it's like everybody's talking about this but a senior developers like uh you know what let's wait a little while before we start using that framework because what we have here already works and we already tested it a million times and pretty much is like the one that you're trying to throw at us is really like in beta or they just released it and then the next week you realize all the reviews from people on reddit or on stack overflow like oh my god node nine point whatever sucks there's so many bugs my whole project is breaking or you know our website is down we try to do the update and everything went down it happens all the time usually it's like i said it's like a junior developer who got excited sort of blog somewhere it's like hey guys we gotta jump to node 9.7 and <laughs> didn't realize that hey they just released it so there's gonna be a whole bunch of bugs so we're not gonna use that in prime time you know but those are the little things that separate a senior from a junior like you have to understand like you have to go through the process of making mistakes you know like whenever like a junior developer made mistakes i never was one of those people that come in and be like oh my god you made a mistake da 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 i just i laugh it off i'll be like oh man you you did this it's okay man i did this too you know that's the type of person that i am there's some other senior developers who'll be like you should know this you're you're supposed to know this like if you know javascript you're supposed to know you're not supposed to do this 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 and that right me i was never that type of person i was always the type of person that'd be like oh wow you made this mistake cool let me show you how to do this the right the right way that's it right so that's the type of you know senior developer that i am but yeah man i mean there's really not much different besides the experience and the fact that the mistakes that you're going to make some senior developer already made it right like when somebody asks me a question about let's say php right and they tell me oh man on the internet php everybody says you know it's bad and this this and that i'm not gonna use php because is is not worth it and it's a dying language and then you like you do the research you you realize you're like man you don't know what you're talking about you know and as a senior developer i come in and i tell you hey look this sort of facts 
These are the things that's really happening. You can go out there and try to learn, uh, let's say Python and, or let's say, I don't know, Java, right? And you're trying to teach yourself that by yourself at home. You're going to make a whole bunch of mistakes. You're not going to be able to find a job right away. So PHP might be the best case for you, right? But that's because I already went through that path. I already went in through that path of, hey, I want to follow the latest trends. I want to follow the latest frameworks. I want to follow the latest programming languages. And it's like, the more I learn, the more mistakes that I made, the more that I got to, you know, become more knowledgeable in this field. So that's the difference between a junior developer and a senior developer. It's just that space that they have between each other, the years of mistakes. That's how I look at it. It's like, you've made so many mistakes that by the time you're, you're, you know, five years in, six years in, 10 years in, you already seen everything. So you learn from that. You know, a junior developer doesn't have that. Junior developer is like, it's like, okay, cool. It's like, let's do this, you know, without thinking about it. It's like a senior developer already been through it, you know? So yeah, man. To me, that's what a junior and a senior developer is. Somebody who hasn't made mistakes yet and still needs to learn. And then somebody who already been through the mistakes and has the experience on how to solve them and how to solve any problem that's thrown at them because they've already been through it. That's what a senior means. It's like, it's just like in life, you know, it's like you, you have a baby and you have somebody who's 70 years old, you know, who has already made so many mistakes and knows was what happens throughout lives like the 70 year old right the baby he just started crawling he don't know that you know if he put his finger inside the you know the wall you know he could go and get electrocuted he don't know about that he's a baby right but a 70 year old is like oh man that's electricity right there man if i touch that it's gonna break let me go this way you know what i mean so that's how i look at it all right, guys. So, yeah, man, if you guys want to sign up to my website, man, check out my site, man, codingface.com. Right now, currently, if you go to my videos description, there's a link that says, hey, man, 65% off only from today till Monday at 12 o'clock in the morning. Well, Tuesday, 12 o'clock in the morning. Um, That's the only time that you're going to get the 65% off on you know, the, you know, get all access pass. This is 20 bucks. When you sign up through that link, you're pretty much getting a 65% off, which is $7. So for $7 for the rest of your life, you're going to get access to all of my courses, everything that I do. So yeah, man, go check it out. Take some time. Look into it. A lot of people are getting a lot of this website, man. They are learning a lot here, man. Like learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, um, you know, object oriented JavaScript, object oriented PHP, uh, also learning Node.js, like all the things that you need to be a successful developer and be able to find a job. Like my goal here is to get you working. My goal here is not to make you, Hey, I'm going to make you the best developer in the, the world. Yes, you could do that. Yes, you could become a, the best developer in the world. But what's the point if you don't have the projects? How are you going to get those jobs if you can't show that, hey, you could actually do some work, you know? So that's what my website is here for. I pretty much give you real projects, real life experience, and get you prepared for jobs. All right? So I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com.